What are the installation methods of the AIO CPU liquid cooler and the things to pay attention to? This time, we will use the T-Force Siren Duo 360 All-in-One ARGB CPU and SSD liquid cooler, recently released by Team Group to give you a detailed installation demonstration. Check if all parts are included. In addition to the main body of the cooler, there is also a water block for M.2 SSD. Please open the manual first to make sure that all parts are included, so as not to affect the installation. Confirm the installation location inside the case. First, make sure where the liquid cooler is going to be installed in the case. The installation location will most likely be on the front or top of the case. Distinguish the front and back side of the fan blade and confirm the installation location. After confirming the installation location, let's distinguish the front and back side of the fan. Remember that the convex side of the fan blade is the air intake and the concave side is the exhaust. Install the fan to the water cooling row. Today, take T-Force X in Win 216 case for example, we will show you how to install it in the front of the case. First step, take out the fan water cooling row and screws K screw the fan to the water cooling row in diagonal order. Again, the front side of the fan convex side should be facing the water cooling row so that the heat from the water cooling row can be discharged to the outside. Next, take out the screws L from the package and lock the water cooling row to holes on the front of the case. Install CPU water block. Siren Duo 360 has dual water block design for CPU and M.2 SSD. Let's install the CPU water block first, then the SSD water block. This time, take the latest 1700 socket of Intel's 12th generation CPU as an example. First, tear off the double-sided tape on the bracket C for the 1700 socket, then place the bracket to the screw holes on the motherboard from the back. Flip motherboard to the front and tighten the screws S in four corners to secure the bracket. After placing the CPU on the motherboard, remove the protective cover, then apply the thermal paste in the five dots method. Remove the copper bottom surface protection sticker on the CPU water block. Take out the screws I, tighten the water block to the motherboard in diagonal order as well. Lock all the screws and then tighten them in the same order. This way the CPU is less likely to be damaged. Install M.2 SSD water block. Take out the thermal conductive film X first, and remove the double-sided contact surface protection sticker and put it on M.2 SSD. Please note that this SSD water block is only suitable for the size of M.2 SSD 2280. When placing the M.2 SSD on the bracket F, Pay extra attention to the direction of the hole of connecting finger of the M.2 SSD should be on the same side as the hole of the bracket. Take out the M.2 SSD water block and pay attention to the installation direction of the water block. The screw hole should be on the same side as the hole of the bracket. Then, use the screw U to secure the water block to the M.2 bracket. Next, install the assembled M.2 SSD water block to the motherboard. If the motherboard does not have a copper pillar to secure the M.2 SSD, you can take out the copper pillar T from the package and manually lock the motherboard. Align the holes of the M.2 SSD water block with the copper pillar, and use a screwdriver V to lock it to the motherboard. The M.2 SSD water block has a magnetic light module. Remember to take out the light module and install it separately. After the installation of the two sets of water blocks are completed, you can take out the cable ties from the package and arrange the liquid cooling tubes of the CPU water block and SSD water block. Wiring to the motherboard. Siren Duo 360 has two cables per fan, one for the power and one for the ARGB signal, while the CPU water block and M.2 SSD water block light module have only one ARGB signal cable each. The ARGB signal cable is a 5V 3-pin connector, do not confuse it with the power cable. 
First, connect the ARGB signal cables of the three fans in series with each other. After the series connection is completed, take out the ARGB signal 1 to 3 breakout cable N in the package and connect it to the fan ARGB signal cable. Then, connect the two connectors left from the ARGB signal 1 to 3 breakout cable to the ARGB signal cables of the CPU water block in the SSD water block light module and connect the other end of the ARGB signal cable to the 5V3 pin position on the motherboard. Next are the power cables. There are three sets of power cable connectors for three sets of TANs. Take out the 1 to 3 power cable Q in the package and connect it to the fan power cable. Finally, connect the fan power cable to the CPU fan position on the motherboard and you're done.